Welcome to Kaumudi Global. What the central government told the Supreme Court on Thursday has come as a big setback for thousands of undergraduate medical Indian students who were studying in Ukraine but had to return to the country in view of the war with Russia. The center on Thursday told the Supreme Court that these students cannot be accommodated in medical colleges in India for lack of provisions under the law. In an affidavit, the center said that till now no permission has been given by the National Medical Commission or NMC to transfer or accommodate any foreign medical students in any Indian medical institute or university. The government filed its response in a batch of petitions filed by students who are undergraduate medical students of first to fourth year batches in their respective foreign medical colleges or universities. They have been primarily seeking transfer to medical colleges in India in their respective semesters. It is humbly submitted that insofar as such students are concerned, there are uh, no such provisions either under the Indian Medical Council Act 1956 or the National Medical Commission Act 2019, as well as under the regulations to accommodate or transfer medical students from any foreign medical institutes or colleges to Indian medical colleges, the government said. It, however, said that to aid and assist such returnee students who could not complete their MBBS courses in Ukraine, National Medical Commission, in consultation with the Ministry of External Affairs, has issued a public notice dated September 6, 2022, indicating that National Medical Commission would accept completion of their remaining courses in other countries with the approval of the parent university or institute in Ukraine. The government said that after such completion of their remaining courses, the certificate of course a completion or degree is expected to be issued by the parent institutions in Ukraine. It referred to the allegations of the students that even though public notice of September 6th conveys no objection to the academic mobility program, which is a temporary re relocation of the affected foreign students in different foreign countries globally, it is not clear as to whether Indian universities are also included in the realm of university universities in different countries globally. The government said that these students have claimed that when they tried applying under the academic mobility program at their respective Ukrainian medical universities, such universities refused to entertain their applications for academic mobility in the first semester of the academic year 2022-23. It is humbly submitted that the aforesaid affidavit of the student is completely frivolous and misleading. It is submitted that in so far as the aforesaid academic mobility program is concerned, the same was introduced only for those students who were not able to continue their education due to war-like situation in Ukraine, the center said. It added that in the public notice dated September 6th, the phrase global mobility cannot be interpreted to mean accommodation of the students in Indian colleges or universities as the extent regulations in India do not permit migration of students from foreign universities to India. The aforesaid public notice cannot be used as a backdoor entry in Indian colleges or universities offering UG courses, it said. The government said that most of the aggrieved students or petitioner had gone to foreign countries for two reasons. Firstly, due to poor merit in the NEET exam and secondly, affordability of medical education in such foreign countries. It is humbly submitted that in case these students with a poor merit are allowed admission in premier medical colleges in India by default, there may be several litigations from those desirous candidates who could not get seats in these colleges and have taken admission in either lesser known colleges or have been deprived, or deprived of a seat in medical colleges, the government said. It further added that in case of affordability, if these candidates are allocated private medical colleges in India, they once again may not be able to afford the fee structure of the institutions concerned. It is humbly, humbly submitted that the government of India in consultation with the NMC, the Apex Medical Education Regulatory Body in the country, has taken the aforesaid proactive measures to assist returnee students from Ukraine 
while balancing the need to maintain the requisite standards of medical education in the country, it said. The government added that any further relaxation, including the prayer for transfer of these returnee student, students to medical colleges in India, would not only deors the provisions of the Indian Medical Council Act 1956 and the National Medical Commission Act of 2019, as well as the regulations made thereunder, but would also seriously hamper the standards of medical education in the country. The students have relied upon the report of the Lok Sabha Committee on External Affairs dated August 3rd, by which it had recommended to the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare to accommodate the students in Indian colleges or universities as a one-time measure. The top court had earlier asked the center to place on record what is its policy or stand on the accommodation of these medical students. I am Casey Ashok signing off. Kindly subscribe to our channel for more news updates and interesting stories.